one, we're from IFWA CS1111, so today we'll be explaining on the application of integration. Hi, I'm Alice. Hi, I'm Ainun. Hi, I'm Paris. Hi, I'm Hayratul. Integration is we will get to know the integral. First, this is the integral sign. A and B is the limit of integration. A is the lower limit. B is the upper limit. Fx is integrand, and these simply represent independent variable of x. This so whole procedure of calculating integral is called integration. And the process of integration involves in finding of area under the curve and volume. Here are some of the application of integration. And the techniques of integration involving substitution, power of sine and cosine, trigonometric substitution, integration by part, rational function, and numerical integration. In this topic, we will focus on the application of integration where it can be applied when the given when there is a given function where we require to find the area of function or the volume of the function with the term that it is curved. With this, application of integration is applied. We have reached two volumes, solid of revolution. So we have three methods, this method, washer method, and cylindrical shell method. Method would be this method. And this is the example figure. This is the main formula. V equals to integral AB pi R square. This R square represents 2R over here. And then in this method, we have four cases where we revolve on the x-axis and we revolve on the line y equals to k. We'll be using this formula, um, pi fx squared. And then we have to make sure that y has to be in terms of x. And we, we take the top function minus the bottom function. And for the next two cases, we revolve on the y-axis or we revolve on the line of x equals to k. We use pi fy squared dy. And we have to make sure that x has to be in terms of y and we take the right function minus the left function. The next method is washer method where v is equals to pi integral of ab ro2 minus r12. ro is the outer radius, the longer r, and r1 is the inner radius, shorter r. And then same, we have two four cases. The first two cases revolve about x axis and revolve about line y equals to k. We'll be using this formula fx square minus gx square and it's also important to make sure that y has to be in terms of x and we take the top minus bottom that means top function minus the bottom function but each function has to be squared and then the next two cases revolve about y exists and revolve about line x equals to k um, we take fy square minus gy square and then it has to be the right function minus the left function and to make sure that x has to be in terms of y. Okay, so for volume, final method is a numerical shell method, which is v equals to 2 pi times average radius times height times thickness. So by looking at this three figure, I'll use the second figure. So basically, to find volume in the graph is that we take v equals to 2 pi, uh, integrals of a and b, let's say 0 and 1, a and b. And then, um, we'll take Rx, Rx, this one, take Rx, times by Hx. How to find Rx, how to find Hx, we will see the next slide. The shell method basically have four cases also. The first two cases revolve at y axis or vertical axis, x equals to k, we'll be using this formula, Rx times Hx, while revolve at x axis or horizontal axis, which is y equals to k. We take R, Y, H, Y. So how to find the R and the H? Basically, how to calculate R, X or R, Y? We have four um, things to remember. The first one, where the shaded region is on the right side of the line X equals to K. We'll take R equals to X minus K. If the shaded region on the left side of the line X equals to K, we'll take R equals to K minus X. Third one is if the shaded region above the line Y equals to K. We'll take R equals to Y minus K, and if the shaded region is below the line Y equals to K, we'll take R equals to K minus Y. And how to find HY and HX, we will use the washing method, such that top minus bottom or right minus left, that means the top function minus the bottom function or right function minus the left function. Let's say if it's on the Y axis, 
which is a vertical axis of revolution, we use top minus bottom. And if it's on the x axis or the horizontal axis of revolution, we use right minus left. We will be solving question 11 where the region bounded by a given curve is repeated about a specific axis when the volume of resulting solid by any method. A, y equals to negative x squared plus 6x minus 8, y equals to 0 about the y axis. B, y equals to negative x squared plus 6x minus 8, y equals to 0 about the x axis. And C, C is equals to bracket y minus 3 squared x equals to 4 about y equals to 1. This is question 11. A, y equal to negative x squared plus 6x minus 8, y equal to 0 about the y axis. So from here, we will get information. First, it's rotated at y as this, and there is two equations. The first one is y equal to negative x squared plus 6x minus 8, and the second one is y equal to 0. So uh, let's use this step uh, to solve this question. So first, read the equation. Second, we have to plot the graph, and then we have to find the intercept of x and intercept of y. The graph, this is the graph. We rotate it at here. And uh, the shaded region will be uh, here. Next, uh, the cylind uh, cylindrical shells method is the suitable method. Uh, in shells method, we have two formula. The first one is uh, equation in terms of y. It's for uh, rotated as x axis. And the second one is equation in terms of x. is for y axis. Uh, it's revolving at y axis. To find our x, uh, we use this formula. So x equal to zero equal to x. To find h x, we have to uh, find the difference between the top function and bottom function. So the top function in here is uh, uh, <coughs> y equal to negative x squared plus six x minus eight, and the bottom function is y equal to zero. And then the h x will be negative x squared plus six x minus eight minus zero. And then we solve this question. Uh, this is the solution. The first one, uh, we take uh, this formula because it's rotated at y axis. And the second one, uh, we substitute the information in the equation. And then uh, Rx will be x and Hx will be negative x squared plus 6x minus 8. And expand the equation and then integrate this equation uh, using uh, this method, uh, this integrate method, x power of uh, n plus 1 are uh, divided by n plus 1 and then uh, here uh, this will be 4 uh, limit 4 and 2 and then substitute 4 into the equation minus uh, the substitution of 4 with a uh, substitution of 2 and then we will get the answer v equal to 8 pi unit cube so this is question 11b by following the steps shown in question a let's try to solve the question together after reading the question, let's plot the graph. As we all know that the equation is a quadratic polynomial graph which is supposedly a U-shaped graph. However, due to the equation having a negative at the front, making the graph to be N-shaped or inverted. Other than that, the equation also has a maximum point just by looking at the first value of x square, which is less than 0. But how do we know exactly where is the graph supposed to be located at? So this is why we have to find out the x-intercept and the maximum value. Alright. Here's how you find the x-intercept and the maximum value. To find x-intercept, just simply make y equal to 0 and factorize the equation and you'll get the value of x, which is the interception line. And for the maximum value, in order to find the point for x, you have to use the formula negative b divided by 2a, which in this case, you'll get x equal to 3. And for y value, just easily substitute the value of x into the equation and you have the maximum value at point 3 1 and this will be the region you'll be looking for after getting the graph done let's look at the most suitable method to use which will be the this method the formula will be v equal to the integral with limit b to a pi and fx square dx now we are using dx because it revolves around the x axis. If it happens to revolve around the y axis, it will be dy. Also, not to forget, if it revolves around the x axis, we'll look from the top line minus the below. If it is y axis, we use from right to left. 
As for the calculation, as I said earlier, we'll be using the top minus below because it will revolve around the axis. And the top line we'll see first is the negative x squared plus 6x minus 8. And the bottom, which is the y equal to 0. So minus that, and you will still get in bracket negative x squared plus 6x minus 8 squared. So in order to get rid of the square, you have to expand the equation and simplify it. And don't forget the limit which will be from 4 to 2. After you expand and simplify the equation, you'll be left with pi integral with limit 4 to 2 x power 4 minus 12 x cubed plus 52 x squared minus 96 x plus 64 dx. And then you can integrate it. And finally, you'll get the answer v equal to 16 pi over 15 with the unit cube. So this is uh, question C. Uh, x equal to y minus 3 square x uh, equal to 4 about y equal to 1. From this question, we know that it's rotated at y equal to 1. And there is two equation. The first one, x equal to y minus 3 x square uh, and y equal to 4. So we need to follow this step to solve this question. The first one, read the question. Second one, we need to plot the graph. Uh, when we need to plot the graph, we have to find the critical value on the curve at y axis because uh, it's rotated at x axis uh, and it's rotated at y equal to 1. Uh, so this is the graph. It's rotated at y equal to 1 and uh, the shaded region will be here. The suitable method is cylindrical shaft method. Number five, we need to solve this question. Uh, in shaft method, we have two formula. The first one, uh, the equation in terms of y, uh, that means it's revolver as x as is. The second one, uh, equation in terms of x, it's revolver as y as is. Because the equation is revolved as x as is, so we need to use uh, the first formula. Uh, so let's find the ry using this method. So r equal to y minus 1. Uh, next, we need to find hy. hy is the right function minus left function. The right function in this equation is x equal to 4. The left function is x equal to y square minus 6y plus 9. So hy will be uh, negative y square plus 6y minus 5. So this is solution. Uh, we need to use uh, this formula because it's rotated as as exists. And we substitute uh, the information. Ry will be y equal to 1. Hy will be 4 minus y square minus 6y plus 9. And the third, uh, we expand uh, and simplify the equation. Uh, and then um, uh, we need to integrate the equation using uh, this method. Uh, and then uh, substitute 5 into the equation uh, and minus uh, the substitution of 1 into the equation. Uh, and then the last answer, we get 125 over 3 pi unit cube. To summarize all the explanation given, we could see that the methods of integration is very helpful to solve the problems in the given questions. For question 11a, we could conclude that cylindrical shell method is very suitable to solve the problem. Here we are using the x because it resolves around the y axis. For question 11b, we can use this method to find its volume. Here we are using the x because it resolves around the x axis. And for question 11c, we can apply cylindrical shell method to find its volume. Here we are using the x because it resolves around the y axis. So that's all from us. We hope you found this video helpful. And thank you for watching this video.